Have you ever wondered how they change out the tram cars? Because remember, they gotta charge these things. If so, this video is for you. Right now, we're on Old Hunts Pier, and we have an opportunity to share with you how they do it. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn in notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com. It's because of them we can make fun videos like this. If you want to support the channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> I'm currently outside the Do Up Experience Museum here on Montgomery Avenue in Wildwood. Join me on Sunday, August 25th, as we do a meet and greet. This year is 10 years of the Wildwood Video Archive. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers, so I figure I want to meet you guys. We've been friends for 10 years, so make sure you take some time to stop by and say hi. This video is sponsored by Cluster's Handcrafted Popcorn of Wildwood. Fresh gourmet popcorn made daily in mouth-watering flavors like white cheddar, toasted coconut, and garlic parmesan. Visit Clusters on the Wildwood Boardwalk between Wildwood and Oak Avenue or at ClustersPopcornWildwood.com for a delightful Clusters experience. Check this out, okay? So this is Sunny, the tram car. It's the one that is very different than the other ones. This is probably the first time I've seen it this up close. Didn't know they had stickers on it. It looks like a patch that someone had then made into a sticker. This is its speaker. This is Watch the Tram Car. It's a smaller cab than the other one, but also looks like you could fit two people in this one, which is kind of cool. And it's very basic inside. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. It is a sunny keychain. That's actually based off of our design, weirdly enough, and I didn't make that. So it is what it is. Well, you can see not really much to look at in here. It's very basic, but it's so cool to see. You don't see this every single day. Also, unlike the other ones, which have the battery pack in the front, this one has it in the back. You can see that right over here as you kind of head to the back. Boom, there it is. And for those who don't remember, in the off season, we gave you a tour of where they store these. So it's kind of cool to see them out and about like this versus it being in storage for the winter time and having the front open, the batteries out, charging it, getting it all together. This is kind of cool, right? And I'm gonna continue the tour because there's a couple other things you usually don't see because they're behind the scenes. First is this truck right here. Do you know what this is? Let's say that the tram car breaks down, okay? And they can't move it. They gotta get this thing, they hitch it up and they pull it around. That's why it says sightseer on the sides. And yes, it is just an old fashioned Jeep. I think it's a 94, I could be wrong, but it is the maintenance truck. And they'll hitch it right over here. They've got bumpers on there for when they turn. It doesn't hit the car. It's very unique. In the wintertime, we also saw this sitting back where they store them. And we'll move over this way where you can see both of these tram cars. You can see, unfortunately, they've had some better days in terms of uh, cosmetic work but we're told that pretty soon these will see some tender love and care. These look like the same model. This one does not have all the gondolas behind it or the trailer behind it. We're gonna walk to the back and you can see what looks like sitting inside. This is where they get hooked up at. And there it is. There really isn't much to show you. Yeah, gas stop, turn on. You've got the button for watch the tram car and that's it. And a mirror so you can see behind. Oh, hi, how are you? That way you can look in the back and see the guy back there saying, hey, we got some people getting on. It is so basic and yes, this is like a little dome and there's an echo up there. And honestly, this is very old technology to the point to where it's so basic, but that's what kind of makes it good because if it was computer based, I'm sure there'd be a lot more problems with the tram cars. And these two tram cars are exactly the same, except for the fact that that one is sponsored by Coke and says Coke on it. And this one is just a regular tram car painted yellow. And you can see this one here. What's happening is they're going to switch it out for another tram car whose battery needs to be charged. So you can see this one pulled out and you'll see this one getting ready to pull in. And they'll switch it out so that bar battery can be charged. So you can see this one being pulled forward to get out of the way for this one, which is being backed up. That's going to go all the way back to the other one, right over here. 
going to get hitched up, and this one's going to go in to get charged up for the night to be ready for tomorrow. Here we can see another one take place. The tram car pulls out, and the other one's going to back up right into place. A lot of activity right now. Funny enough, while we're here, they actually had to come out to fix one of the tires that were running low. Let's go underneath, and they were able to put more air in the tires. If they have to change a tire, that red piece comes off and they change it. I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you on the beach, which is right over there. I'll see you later. Bye.